training like another game. Um, it's another game in the up and I've been in other big, big rivalry games um, so far in my career, so um, training like another game. And when you played in that Red River Classic, um, how did you keep it even keeled? I guess that's that's what I'm asking. Um, I think I'm an overall kind of even keel guy. Um, you know, all the all the work and, and, and hard work that we put in as a as a group, um, as a team, and then also myself. Um, it, 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 it kind of shows a lot of confidence, um, so there's no reason to be you know, going up and down. Um, I do know that I'm a leader of this team um, and kind of kind of groomed into that, especially with my position. Um, so, you know, I have to be even kill regardless even, you know, what's going on or anything like that. I have to be even kill um, for, for the other um, hundred guys we have on this team. So, um, I, I, I realize that and um, I go out there and when bad things happen, I stay even kill. When, when good things happen, I get a little happy, obviously, um, but I, I try to stay even kill. GTR hasn't been mm -hmm. shy about really kind of amping up the intensity and kind of trash talking a little bit. Mm -hmm. Stepping into a new rivalry, is that kind of a weird situation for you because you don't have the, the past, obviously, but do you try to ramp up the intensity because you know it is a rivalry? No, when you start trying to ramp up things, when you start trying to, you know, do things that you don't, you know, haven't normally done or, or doing things that, you know, is irregular or anything like that, um, you know, bad things start to happen. Like I said, we're treating it like a regular game here. Um, one of the first things that, that we talked about as a group um, and as a team is, is focusing on us, um, not focusing on the social media because it's going to blow it up or the other team or what they have to say or what they're doing or anything like that. Focusing on us, playing our game, um, and going out there and you know, trying to help the children go one and out. Is there anything that stands out about the – uh, the DBs and, and the defense of the Bruins? Uh, they got a couple uh, a couple good guys um, over there. Um, you know, three is a solid player. Um, he's proven that. Um, you know, 24. Um, you know, they got a couple couple safeties um, over there. They're pretty good. Um, I think the other, other corners, number six, I believe. Um, you know, six is a tall, rangy guy. Like, six, two, long arms, um, can run. Um, three, he's... he's uh, one of the better DBs that we would that we're going to play um, this season, and and um, 24, he's done a good job. Um, I think three's been out the past couple of weeks, um, and you know he's he's done a good job, um, you know filling in for him. Um, so they got a, they got a good group of guys over there at DB, um, and, and it's going to be fun to go against them. You guys had some wide receivers out there. It seemed like their position going in the game has been both of the seamless. What's it like when you know? Yeah, he's he's been awesome. Uh, Trav uh, tra went down and Austin, you know, stepped right up. Um, you know, held his chin high and um, did it for his brother, um, just like we all did. So, um, you know, I I don't expect and I I, mean, I didn't expect anything less from, from uh, Austin um, after after what happened to Trav. So. Um, I can't wait to see him get out there and um, you know go, go against that defense. This is the first time in the history of this rivalry that two black quarterbacks mm -hmm. will be starting against each other. Mm -hmm. Knowing that history, what does that mean to you, I guess? Uh, it's, it's awesome, to be honest. Um, there hasn't been a black quarterback here. Um, that was one of the first things that I was told there has been a black quarterback here in, in, a, in a really long time. So, um, you know, it's really cool, really awesome. Um, Still the same thing as, a, as another QB going out there and, being, and playing for me. So uh, really cool, um, but treating it like another game. Another another QB is across from me um, and, and trying to help my team go on and on. Do you have any more of a curiosity about this game as opposed to other games because it is this cross-city thing, uh, which is a little bit different than Texas OU? Mm -hmm. um, not really. Um, haven't been focused on much of them other than their defense and, and their scheme and anything like that. Um, other than that, I'll, after the season, I'll look back on it and, and you know, it'll be talked about and, um, and, and I'll, I'll probably do a little, little bit more research. Um, we've, we've had a lot going on since I've, since I've been here or since I got here trying to, you know, get things go, get things back going um, on, the, on the right track. So um, having to focus on this rivalry um, and as you know, it, I mean, it's a big game. Uh, every game's a big game. We treat every game the same here. Um, and trying to have the children go one another.